Today is cutting day. I've got my my chainsaw right here stuffed in my little boat. I don't actually have a chainsaw cover. I have a really nice chainsaw. <laughs> I don't really have a real cover for it. Whatever. Um, got some snacks up there and stuff. Some waters, some peanut butter sandwiches and on coconut bread, so it has extra calories and stuff. Uh, and right now I'm supposed to meet a guy who's gonna come cut with me. I'm hiring him for the day. Maybe tomorrow too, if he does all right. And maybe next week. Um, but he's supposed to meet me like two minutes ago out in the water here so we can go right, right over there. And he's late. And no, I'm not hiring him to use my chainsaw. He comes with his own chainsaw. But he also comes with knowledge of the trees around here so he can identify trees, which... I hear a boat. I hear a boat. These guys are going over to where we're cutting and he said he has no telemetro. No, no tape measure. So I'm going to go grab a tape measure from my house and then I'll meet him over there. Okay, this tree here is Mayo Rojo. Well, the Rojo is uh, parte en centro. Y Blanco is aquí or Toro? Toro, Toro, Toro Mayo Rojo. Okay, the, to the total tree is Mayo Rojo. Oh, God, we got the sun blasting right there. So it's basically, I can recognize it from the bark. Kind of, like it reminds me of a birch tree a lot. It's kind of papery. Very smooth under these little flakes. Yeah, it's kind of like smooth bark with like scabs all over it. This is something really good, pero más más grande en futuro. Sí, so this is small. This will I want to keep this tree for sure because it's going to be a lot bigger. Um, it's Kira. Kira. Um, árbol aquí similar? Oh. Okay, this this tree here is Cedillo, which is similar to Cedro. Similar Cedro, see? Uh -huh. yeah, over here, this is Basura. <laughs> Use it for posts. He just calls it postes. This tree is Basura, garbage. Okay, this tree here is Miguelario, which is basically Basura, basically garbage. I mean, you can use it for some stuff, but it's not. Formaleta, pa. Yeah, Concreto. use it. Concreto, sí, you can use it for concrete forms, basically. So, okay, I correctly identified this one then. This is Mayo Rojo as well. This is a much bigger one. Yeah, this this one's pretty big. Um, yeah, it's still got the you know the papery bark. So it's it's pretty easy to identify once you learn the names of this. All right, this is Caraño, similar or similar to Miguelario. It's it's basically garbage. Which is unfortunate because I have a bunch of those around here. All right, these, these two guys are both garbage wood. All okay, right, aquí, I mean here, this is another sedillo. Which is similar to cedar-ish, as far as I understand. It's pretty good wood. Uh, this tree is also basura. There's a lot of trees that are basura, garbage. All right, this guy right here is Nispero. I should be able to identify this because it's like one of the best woods around here. You know, it's, it kind of reminds me of uh, like flattened out oak bark a little. All right. Hopefully I can remember this. Okay. Aquí es caña fistola. Correcto? Caña fistola? Ah, caña fistola. Sí. Es uh, duro madera? Sí, muy bueno como níspero. Ah, similar níspero. So bueno con hormigas. Sí. So the bugs don't eat it. And this will get much bigger. ¿Cuánto año grande? Diez años más. Diez años más, mucho más grande. So in 10 years it'll be a lot bigger. Caña fistula, okay. Try to remember that. Gosh, this looks like the tree I was just looking at that he said was garbage. All right. Oh, it smells min minty here. Okay, we don't know exactly what this is called, but it's it's good wood. It does have some 
signs of bug eatage up there. But this is supposed to be good wood of some kind. Strong and hard. And... So I have a couple big mahogany trees that have been down. And I had to, well, I had to cut it up to here to get above all the rotten parts. But here it's not rotten from here up. It is pretty long. And this is by far the smaller one. The other one is like, oh, it's huge. Anyway, here's my first cut of the day. Not bad. You know, I'm just getting warmed up. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. The guy I hired over there, his first cut of the day was horrible. God, it was like, oh. I gave him some crap about it. And he's made some excuse about how it's his chainsaw's fault. I hope there's improvement. Hopefully that was just like a warm up cut and he's doing better. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start cutting floorboards out of this. And uh, yeah, he has a, like a chalk line that he's doing the lines with. I just kind of eyeball it. I don't know, my eyeballing's pretty good. So I'm just going with that. Floorboards can be a little bit warped anyway though because they get nailed down or screwed down, whatever. Anyway, let me keep going. Actually, I don't, when I'm, when I'm cutting wood that's only like, you know, an inch thick or something like that, inch, an inch or two thick, I don't worry about, I don't worry too much about a little bit of curve in it because the wood's probably gonna warp anyway. I'm, I'm gonna have to like kind of force it to be straight, but looks like I'm getting it pretty straight. All right, I'm gonna keep cutting. Oh yeah, there was the first cut. That was just a warm up though. These ones are looking excellent. Yeah, really good. Nice and straight down there. Yeah. Excellent. Oh man, that's a relief that his cuts are straight now. Hopefully he keeps going straight. But I know this guy. I've, you know, I've, I've gotten rocks and sand from him and stuff before. And I kind of have to keep on him to get him to do a good job. <laughs> Like he kind of starts starts slacking till I say something, give him some crap, then he's like back on it. And then he just slowly starts drifting off again. So I think as long as I, you know, keep checking his wood every hour or so, he'll, he'll do a good job. Which is great because with two of us cutting, we can get this done pretty fast, hopefully. Yeah, I want to, I basically want to cut all the wood for my second floor. So I'm going to shut up and start cutting. Okay, shut up, Jamie. Oh, I'm starting to get somewhere. It's only noon right now. Still a bunch more of this piece. Then lots more tree up there. Um, but uh, the other guy has a problem with his chainsaw bar. So we're quit quitting for today. We did start early. We were only going to go till, till 2 in the afternoon. Um, all right. We'll be back tomorrow, though, to cut some more.
Alright. Yeah. Alright. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright.